goes to Oliver at the Sheffield Crucible. Well done. Um, thank you, this is a great honour. I feel very lucky on three counts. I have a brilliant staff at Sheffield Theatres at the Crucible. We had a brilliant creative team on Oliver and we had the most wonderful cast led by Tom Eden, who was the best Fagin a director could ever ask for. I, yeah, I, I dedicate this award though to, we had 60, 60 young actors aged between eight and 15 who during Christmas of 2013 really made this production and The Crucible sing, and I dedicate this to them. And finally, I just want to thank whatsonstage.com. Recently, they made a change to their website. They now place coverage of all theatre outside of London on the front page of their site, side by side with all London coverage. Nice. And, and for those of us who work outside of London, and there are quite a lot of us, it means a great deal. Thank you very much. It's the second in as many years, so I feel particularly proud. I, f I guess I feel uh, most proud of this because it involved such a large group of young people who uh, live and uh, you know, have a relationship with us in our city region. And, uh, and this award is really for them because their parents and their guardians really um, had a huge sacrifice in, in offering us their children throughout this period because it was a long run and throughout a hard winter. And um, it was a, a really joyful experience for us seeing them change in front of our eyes. I don't think there is a secret. I, I, you know, th there is no such thing. I think there is no formula. I think. Um, Clearly, because this is a ward that's voted for by the public, clearly we have a loyal audience in Sheffield and, and that means a great deal to us. We look after our relationship with them and we talk to them a lot and, uh, and we are very, very lucky to, to have a theatre in the heart of a city that really celebrates and appreciates its theatre. Over the last few years we have been working very hard to make our organisation much leaner and much more sustainable. So now our Arts Council fund is, is only 12% of our overall turnover, which is incredibly low. Um, the situation with philanthropy, because there's more emphasis on philanthropy these days, 90, we know that 91% of that comes to London and that leaves 9% for the rest, of the, uh, the rest of the country. So I'm pleased that there is a redressing of the balance occurring. I think it could happen faster and I think it could be happen in a fairer way and I look forward to that day. We think that we should offer, we, we want to change everyone's lives who live and work in our theatre region and that means, in our city region and that means offering them the broadest range of theatre experiences possible whether it's ballet or opera or a Sarah Kane season or a classic like Anything Goes which is now going on the road around the country and we want to reach everyone who lives and works alongside us in the city region at least once a year, um, hopefully more than once. I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who voted, particularly the parents and guardians of our 60 young cast who must have voted in their droves. Thank you very much.